Now there once again, FLHRC 2008 World King Classic. Well, I did a quick review of the uh, unboxing of these the large beverage cup holder. And I searched high and low to see where I could put it on my bike where it's usable and oh sorry I got another mic <laughs> where it's usable and it won't interfere with my handlebars and my turns and me cocking it and parking it and there's really not that many options I tried there in one of the crash bar but this is this is like three quarters of an inch thick and this is the hardware where supposedly it fits um, anywhere from an inch up to an inch and a half so I have no more options other than placing it here on the uh, crash bar and um, yeah that's where it's gonna go but I did find out that these crash bars they're not perfectly round they're they're elongated somehow they're oval because this thing is this thing is perfectly round I put it up against the uh, pipe that I have here laying around in my shop and it works perfectly so this is the example like that see that gap there it's not fitting well. so but look what happens is as soon as I start spinning and spinning and spinning around boom it sits perfectly I was about to grind this shit down and I think I am gonna grind it down because this is the position that I want this I want this to be vertical and for my cup to come this way and down thus not interfering with my brake I want it on this side I don't want it on the side on my left side where it's, it's more of an angle and uh, you know what for some reason I want it on this side it's my right hand I, that's the right the, the hand that I use most but I will have to grind this in order to make it fit perfectly there funny no it's always something with Harley yep definitely that way time out time in I'm gonna pause it for a little bit because I don't think you want to hear it and you don't want to see this part. Time in. Well, as you could see, I had to do a little finesse grinding there in order for this to remove the corners ever so slightly and make that fit flush. Now it fits perfectly in the position that I want it comes with a rubber this is I imagine for when the diameter is much smaller you put this in order to fill in the gap uh, I don't know if I'll be able to use that or not I would like to that way I don't extra scratch the chrome but we'll see time out Oh, there it is. Sorry, I didn't show you very much of uh, the installation, but it's kind of straightforward. Um, after I ground, uh, ground it open, uh, ground, I, I used a grinder <laughs> to to make the opening larger. I put in uh, this rubber filler that was supplied, and I cut it halfway and right down the middle to make it thinner because apparently the diameter of the outside bracket is so tight to the diameter of the tube that you really didn't need it but I wanted to place it I want to put it on there to make sure I'm not scratching the chrome here so uh, put some Loctite on the screws and you see how nice that is from on the reverse side I imagine that this should have been going upwards and this 
would have been hanging down. It would have been ideal. But the, if that were, if I did that where this was down here hanging down, then the cup would be further down and possibly interfering with my foot and the brake pedal. So it is what it is. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to live with things that are not 100% to your liking. They're not 100% custom. And once you go to eBay and start buying this shit, you're pretty much, unless you're gonna scrap it and put it in a box and in the corner of your shop, you wanna use it, right? So I'm gonna use it. It, it wobbles this way. It's not touching the back of the paint. It's not touching anything at all. Um, now with this adjustment, I imagine that this would have to be loose enough where it could balance itself out back and forth and back and forth. Let gravity pull this down and this will make it level. Now the problem is that if you tighten this bolt up if you tighten it too much because it didn't come with any washers so I'm kind of thinking that I'm gonna put some permanent Loctite on this one and just tighten it far enough where it moves this way back and forth so hopefully Hopefully it won't fuck around with anything here. Maybe it'll do that once it's dry.